breathe. <sighs> Dear God, I knew I would cry. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> I still have to like get my tears out of the way so I can move on and do my makeup, my goodness. Uh, so for today's video, I don't really have much of an intro. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys. I feel like I have not done this in so long. I've just been posting a lot of videos, just like doing really fun things and just like happy and bright and all of that. Um, and I just really feel like I need to sit down and just talk to you guys as friends. I know I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people watching this video who do not think of me as a friend or a good person and that is completely fine. You do not have to watch this, but I just feel like it's long overdue. I used to do videos like this way more often and I kind of like shied away from it for a lot of reasons, which we'll get into later. Um, I'm feeling really anxious right now. If you can't tell how red my face is, I'm like literally on the verge of tears because I feel so like vulnerable with how swollen my face is. So when I get really anxious, a lot of you guys know this, my chest gets like super, super red and so does my face. And I actually covered up my entire neck and chest with makeup for that exact reason. But now my face is showing it. Um, so let's just move past that. I'm like glad that I just like got a little cry out as we're walking into this so I can do my makeup. I actually have dinner reservations tonight at a really amazing restaurant here in Tampa that I've never been to. So I had to sit down and do my makeup regardless. And I figured let's just sit and talk about this. I'm sitting in my bedroom right now. This is my vanity where I get ready at every single day. Um, and I just feel like I said, I just need to talk to you guys on a friendship based level about things going on, some sensitive topics. And I'm gonna do it while doing my makeup because I'm kind of just like challenging myself because my face is so swollen and it's been a hot topic recently on social media. I do have a black eye right now, you guys, but this is because of something that I chose to do. It's because of a procedure that I had done. I'll get into that and why I had that done and why I chose to do this. But I figured, why not? Everyone's talking about my swollen face. Why not show it? And it's <laughs> very pale, very splotchy, very bruised, very swollen moment because I am a human. And let's just do our makeup and let's talk. Let's chat. Let's get to know each other even more. So let's jump into it. Okay, I am just going to prime my face and I have to be super gentle when I do this, guys. Just so you know, I'm gonna be talking about makeup and like real life all at the same time. But I have to be super gentle when I do this because I'm still super, super sw sw swole. <laughs> I'm still super, super sore. So I have to be really, really gentle. The nurse and injector who did the threading in my face, she said that I'm gonna be swollen for at least another week or two. So I'm just kind of trying to get used to it because right now I'm just like gigantic like in this area, which is fine because I believe the results are gonna be amazing. Okay, I'm gonna hit my under eye with my primer as well. And I know that a lot of people have been asking to see the way I use, oh, this feels so good. The way I use my products because I have not made a dedicated video for like any of my products I've come out with. So I will be using a bunch of them today so you guys can see me apply. But again, I'm not gonna make this super like makeup focused. I wanna make this much more about just stuff that I wanna talk about. I wanted to sit down and have this conversation with no makeup on whatsoever, like full glam, full hair and everything. So I felt a little bit more like secure and just like a bad bitch. But I was like, you know what, why? Like I am a human and I'm so sick of portraying that I am like so perfect at times and I'm so over it. So I'm just like, let's just do my makeup and talk at the same time. And it'll also hopefully keep me from crying because you gotta beat this face for dinner. I'm gonna put my mirror directly in front of me like this. Hopefully that mirror doesn't distract you. And ow, I just like swiped that on my face way too hard and it hurts. So I had threading done to my face two weeks ago. If you guys don't know what threading is, a lot of people were confused. They thought that threading was the same thing as what you get done to your eyebrows when you get your eyebrows threaded. It is not that at all. Um, I don't wanna show you guys anything like graphic. It needs to come with like a warning label because the actual procedure is pretty intense. It's basically like an internal facelift that you get done while you're awake. They numb you and then they put threads in your cheeks and your jaw and your eyebrow area and they pull. It's literally just meant to give you like a lifted, more firming effect to the face. It's not gonna make your face look skinnier. It's not gonna make it look like you lost weight. I know a lot of people were like, Jacqueline, if you want to have a skinnier face, just lose weight. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this to lose weight, but this was something that I have wanted to do for myself for so long. I learned about threads probably about a year ago and I've wanted to do it ever since just because as you get older, even though I'm not what you would consider old, but as you get older, things change. You know, like you lose collagen, your face starts to kind of droop a little bit, you get wrinkles, you know, 
we all know about aging. This is something that I wanted to do for myself for that like lifted, more sculpted look. I basically just wanted to give the lift that I had when I was 20. You know, that's just really what I'm looking for. Um, but you guys, I was not aware of how bad the swelling was going to be uh, because I had so much work done. Okay, so the injector who did my threading, she told me that I was gonna be sore and swollen for a few days, but like it wouldn't be that much of a downtime. But then as she's working on my face and we're like, okay, let, let's do this. Let's tighten this area. Let's lift this area. We ended up doing so much. She said that typically she breaks it up into two or three sessions, but I'm just an all or nothing kind of gal. So I'm like, let's just do it all right now. And she's like, you are going to be sore and bruise for a long time. Like you're not gonna see your full results for at least a month or two. You're gonna be swollen for weeks. And I was like, oh God. And that's where I'm at. So I'm two weeks out. I'm able to move my face again, which is awesome. Cause for a while there, it was so painful. I couldn't, I still can't fully smile as big as I want to because it is still super tight and swollen and like bruised in this area. I don't know if you guys can see it really well on camera. I'm sure you can like in here. I mean, I can look at it so perfectly. Like in here, all down here, I am like huge. And then all in here, it's like, I don't even have like a jaw yet. Cause look at that. It's so, it's so dang swollen. And I know I saw a few people being like, your face always looks like that. And I'm like, okay, that's so sweet of you, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> it's a very strange process, but I'm trusting the process. And I know that in a month I'm going to be like, bitch, look at this face. But until then, Okay, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to cover up my bruise and I'm going to conceal. I'm not gonna show you guys this part because someone in my DMs actually brought this up and I'm very grateful. They were telling me, you know, you shouldn't cover up your bruises on camera because you don't wanna teach people how to hide bruises for obvious like reasons of very sensitive topics. So I'm gonna respect that and I'm not gonna show you guys how I do this, but I am gonna go in and cover up this black eye that I gave myself due to cosmetic purposes. So now that I am completely covered up, I obviously had to do a very full coverage look for this because I had to cover up all of the bruises for obvious reasons. It's funny because I was actually just starting to really get into like that natural, like fluffy brows, kind of like no makeup, makeup look moment. And then I had this work done on my face and I was like, okay, so now I have no choice but to really be that girl from 2016 that like full on is just like, like covering as much possible full coverage situation for a couple of days there. It's like, I had no choice but to only wear a smoky eye when I did my makeup because it was just like, whoa. What's crazy is when I have on just foundation and concealer, you can see almost even more when everything is like washed out and flattened by my makeup, the swelling. Like even in my eye, the swelling in here, up in here, it's, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. So it's kind of hard to contour and do my makeup along with the soreness and the tenderness of it. I'm just trusting the process. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and set my under eye. This is always the first thing I do after foundation and concealer. I'm gonna go in with my brightening and setting palette. These just came out last week. Wow, like my perception of time right now is so lost. Let's get real, it always is. Um, and these are gonna be available at Ulta on May 30th. I know a lot of people are asking because right now they're only on JacquelineCosmetics.com. There are a few sold out, but there is quite a bit left in stock still, but it will be Ulta on May 30th. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Banana and Hazelnut. These are like my deep shades for me, like when I'm tan, otherwise I use the lightest shades and the lightest palette. But right now I have on like a lot of spray tan. I know the lights really wash me out, but in person I'm actually really, really tan right now. So banana and hazelnut, I just mix those two together on a damp beauty sponge. And then I'm just gonna set my under eye and lightly tap that. And can I just say how thankful I am? I have seen so many glowing reviews about this collection and you have no idea how much that warms my heart and makes me so happy because you guys know that I have been into complexion and brightening the skin, giving that like 3D effect, that highlighted contour moment. So this was very on brand for me personally and what I wanted to see for my cosmetic line, but I was so nervous and I spent so much time perfecting this formula. The lab, my labs I think might hate me low key because I'm such a perfectionist and it's like, well, this is industry standard. I'm like, it's not my standard. So I'm like, I'm just really, really picky. And it also makes me really nervous because I'm like, if they don't like it, it's gonna crush my heart. But I get it, that's the business, that's the industry. But to see you guys just giving such amazing reviews, like every time, I'm not kidding, it makes me cry. I see people getting their products and be like, it's just as amazing as she said. And I'm just like, ah. Literally, this is my life. This is all I've wanted. I'm gonna go in with this last act translucent setting powder right here and I'm just gonna set my face. This powder low key is just, I mean, whew. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. It's just skin. Just looks like perfect skin. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a really light dusting of some bronzer. This is the Golden Goddess and Warm Flush right here. My blush and bronzer duo is that will be back in stock very soon. I'll let you know. I wanna talk about what happened on social media yesterday when you guys watch this. It will not have been yesterday. It'll be a couple of days um, regarding Instagram and Alta posting a video of me. And I don't wanna talk just strictly about that video, but more so just about um, things that I have seen leading up to this and my breaking point because I genuinely have to say that right now I'm proud of myself. I don't say that often, but I've learned for just like mental health, you have to like, you have to check off your boxes when you do something that you're proud of yourself. You have to mark your wins and you have to acknowledge them. Otherwise you just fall into a sinkhole of depression. And I'm proud of myself that I'm even sitting here filming right now. Yesterday, I went through it, you guys. And right now I'm just talking about my emotions. I'm gonna get off of that in a second. But basically, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or if you missed it, long story short, I filmed a video for Ulta two weeks ago before I had my threading done, before I had all of this excessive swelling in my face due to having a procedure done. Um, and it's literally just a video of me showing off like some of my favorite lip combinations with my liquid lips and my liquid liners and just letting you guys know that my product is now available in Ulta stores, which is so exciting. Ulta has been such incredible partners. I'm so happy to do anything for them. Like I do education videos for them, for their employees, like videos that you guys never even see, just like help educate the team and just thank them and all of that. And you know, and anything they ask, I'm like, I'm here for, cause they're just such good partners to me. They've always been so nice to me and I love them so much. Um, even though it's like when I'm in far into our work relationship so far, it's just a very positive one. And I'm so grateful cause you hear nightmares about different companies and CEOs and like, you know, their partners, like butting heads when it comes to like selling in stores and on e -com. And so I'm just really, really grateful. Um, with that being said, I filmed this video for them and then they posted it on their main feed, you know, and it's just like a 30 second video of me just like dancing around being like, ah, all these lip colors, yay, now available on Ulta. And I was sitting on the couch <laughs> two nights ago and I, came across that after they posted it. And when I saw the comments, oh my gosh, I cannot cry. You lock it up. <laughs> when I saw the comments, I was speechless. I have not cried over like hate in well over a year. Like I definitely built like a thicker skin. I'm just sitting here putting on more and more bronzer, just like a, a sheer wash, if you will, because I'm just talking about this and I'm like, ah! Um, I need to move on, but I'm kind of bad at multi multitasking when I'm like in my head so much. There were over 200 comments and I'm not kidding. I did not see one nice one. I, I, I swear, I read every single one of them, which I don't know why I did that because I typically am better than that and nicer to myself than that. But I did, I sat there and I read every single one and I was like, you're fine, you're fine. It's just haters, like it's not a big deal, you're fine. Um, and then that didn't work. <laughs> and then I ended up getting so emotional. And I mean, I cried all day yesterday and I just let myself, honestly, I'm like, it's been so long since I've cried. Sorry, my nose itches. I'm like, it, it's just been so long that I'm just gonna let myself feel this. I was supposed to film yesterday a totally different video. And I was just like, I can't, like, I'm feeling this. I'm going through it right now. And I have every single right to. And that's something that I wanna talk about is what's going on online. It's been going on and it's continuing to get worse and worse. And it's making me sick, you guys. Like it is, it is tearing me apart, not just for me, but for everybody. Whew. Let me breathe. Although I have a full face of makeup on, you can't tell my face is beet red under here right now. Okay, I have to like breathe this out while I go in and bake. I'm using my brightening banana powder right here. <laughs> Ow, my face! Okay, <laughs> so I need to take a 10 to do my brows and my bake and take a deep breath and relax because I was about to get really heated there for a minute and I didn't want to do that. Um, but I want to continue. <laughs> I was gonna say it like it is. I'm sitting here like breathing so much and looking around the room and trying to think about like the right words and the perfect words. And I'm really sick of doing that. Like I'm so sick of being like, okay, so how can I make this like, you know, watered down in a way where people aren't gonna get upset with me. And I'm just like so over it, you guys. And it's like, I just miss the days where I talked to you guys. Like you were my friends. We were just like, we were bitches together. Like not meaning we were mean, meaning that like we were bitches. We were friends. Like we were hand in hand. We agreed on stuff. And it's like, it's just not like that anymore. There's so much division everywhere. And what it really boils down to is when I saw those comments on Ulta, I, I just, it broke me, it did. And I'm not trying to play the victim. And that's something that I have to speak up about. It's like, how come anytime somebody 
who has, you know, notoriety or, you know, a lot more followers than others or, you know, thousands, millions, whatever it is, how come the second that they're hurt by something or they're being bullied, they're the victim all of a sudden? Like, just because people have followers doesn't mean that they're like any less human or like when you cut them, they don't bleed or they're not hurt. Like, are you kidding me? I'd rather be slapped across the face any day of my life than be spoken to in such a harsh tone and have such degrading, dehumanizing things said about me and my family and my friends. It's awful. And to see it on such a large scale, it is so toxic. It's such toxic behavior. And I understand that people are going to say things, you know, like everyone, they're like, rise above it. Don't focus on the negative. I get it. I understand. I would say the same thing to my friend. I would say the exact same advice. And I try to tell it to myself, but every once in a while, you just have a break. It's like, you can't take it anymore. You crack. You're like, ah, and you have to cry it out. And that's normal. I am human. Everyone else on social media, we're humans. We are humans. Like, <sighs> let me breathe. Whew. I am just so sick of not being treated like a normal 30 year old girl. Like that's it. And it's so frustrating because when I was at my absolute lowest point on social media is when I was getting my most praise. That's when I was making the most money. That's when I was getting the most engagement. That's when I had the most views. That's when I had the most compliments. I mean, all of the above. Uh, that's when I was going to therapy three times a week. That's when I was severely depressed beyond anxious. Anxious isn't even a word. Like it was like, I mean, horrible, horrible anxiety that just cripplized me. And that's when things were the best online. And now that I am the happiest that I've ever been, and I feel so good about myself and the work that I've put into my life and into my mind and my soul, I have to now face these body shaming comments that are just nonstop. I am literally stopped doing my makeup because I'm getting so passionate about this, but I don't really care. It's just like, I will sit here with literally no eyeshadow, no lashes, a full bake and nothing but a bold brow and bitch because that's who I am. <laughs> and I'm human. And I'm so damn sick of seeing people say things like you have too much filler in your face. For the love of God, like, I don't know how to make it any more clear that I do not have filler in my face. Like literally, I've had filler in my lips, my nose, and my under eye. I've had filler in those places. I have not had filler now in over three years other than my lips. I had a touch up on my nose like a year ago. That's it. I do not have any filler in my face. I'm sorry if that offends you, that this is just weight gain and inflammation, but that's what it is. Get over it. This is not filler. I do not want to have a big swollen looking face, but that's just where it is. I gained weight, guys. Like I really will give you like a before and after picture of how much weight I gained. I see people say like, it makes no sense. Her face is so huge and her body's not. Guys, I have put on almost 40 pounds in the last couple of years. Let me show you my body right now, okay? Do you see, this is who, this is who I am right now. This is not an IG Instagram baddie body. I really don't have a waist right now. I'm not super happy with this, but this is who I am right now. And that's okay. It doesn't bother me. Why the f does it bother you? That's all I wanna know. Why do I have to be called fat? Why do I have to be called swollen? Why do I have to be called a pig? Why do I have to be called ugly? Like, can you just let my ass be happy? And let me just go back to saying, I'm gonna go in with my palette because that's just who I am. I'm vain and I love my shit. <laughs> let me just go back to saying that this hurt me, but more than anything, it hurts me for everybody, not just me. I am an empath, you guys. I am a cancer. I am sensitive. I am a nurturer. I know that everyone's like, oh, you just got to build a tough skin. Well, I refuse to do that. It's not fair. Like, I don't want to get a tough skin. I don't want to get callous. I want to continue to be a sensitive person. I want to continue to be a kind person. I can sit here and literally tell you with all the confidence in the world, I have never in my entire life, even before social media, I've never in my entire life left a nasty comment about another woman or a guy or a man or whomever. I've never done that. Now, of course I was immature when I was in high school and would just like, you know, get upset with like the girls who were mean to me and stuff like that on Facebook. But like, I've never in my life commented on someone's appearance in a negative way in my life. And do you know how good that feels to me after all of the thousands upon thousands of comments that have been made about me? I've never, ever, ever done it back. And I never will because it is disgusting. And I just like, Think about the fact that like now it's like my niece, Talia. She is so talented and she now is on TikTok and you know, she gets quite a lot of views now. 
People are loving her content. I post about her. And I am just waiting for the day that someone has the nerve to talk bad about her and do what people have done to me, to my niece. And I'm like, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. This young generation does not need this. Not just my niece, but everybody. They don't need this. They don't need body shaming or being told that they're, you know, not looking a certain way. I'm like, I'm so, oh, I'm so over it, you guys. Like, I genuinely feel like if I went out right now and got a BBL, got some plastic surgery done, got some fat transfer, and then jumped back on Instagram, people would be like, oh my God, she's back. Oh my God, the old Jacqueline, we miss you. And it's like, <sighs> okay, I had to put on a little eyeshadow. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy at all. I literally used a total of like three colors. I just kept it really, really matte, really neutral. I used brown eyeshadow as my eyeliner. Of course, I will list everything that I use down below for you guys since I'm not being specific. I know this is like, even though I'm doing my makeup, it's not like a makeup related video and I'm not teaching like I typically would, but I'm just in a talking mood today. So I do want to say that when I posted on Instagram yesterday saying like, I'm a person, like I'm a human being and words hurt and I'm just done for today. I am absolutely no way. I even said on there, I said like, I'm not looking for pity. Like I wasn't looking for people to reach out. Like I was just genuinely, I felt like it, in my soul, I was like, I just have to bring awareness to this because it's not just me. I'm a very hated person on social media, which does suck. But at the same time, I have to remind myself all the time, literally no one knows who I actually am. I just really felt like I had to say something and I was not expecting the overwhelming amount of comments, DMs, and texts that I got from friends, family, old friends I haven't talked to in years. I mean, just the, the the overwhelming amount of love that was then posted on the Alta post. And I didn't even like post their post because I didn't want to drive traffic towards it and therefore cause even more hate. I just said like there was an Alta video posted today. And I just want to say the biggest thank you to everybody who just flooded my DMs. I mean, literally all day long, flooded my DMs and my text messages just saying the nicest things and being so kind. And at the end of the day, the love definitely outweighed the hate by far. It just sucks that that's something that you kind of have to ask for on social media nowadays because the you know, the critics and the naysayers and the negative ones, they're so loud. They're so, so loud and it's just so sad. So I just ask that if you guys enjoy someone's content, personality, makeup, whatever it is, anything positive that you feel in your heart when you're watching someone on social media, no matter what it may be, just take... 10, 15 seconds and just leave that comment to them. Double tap, like like their TikToks, like their pictures. Just, it means so much to creators out there. Like I can't even begin to tell you because everybody deals with hate. Some of them on really big scales, some on smaller scales. But I mean, I know for me personally, like not one sweet comment goes unnoticed. I'm so appreciative and thankful, but it's so crazy because it's like you can have thousands of nice comments and then you can have a handful of mean ones. And for some reason, those mean ones hurt so bad. And I just... I refuse to get callous. I know so many people are like, oh, you just have to get used to it, get over it. And it's like, I, I don't want to get used to it. I refuse. I refuse to become this callous, bitter person that people refer to as a bad bitch who doesn't give a fuck about what people have to say. That's not who I am. That's not who I'm ever going to be. When you say mean things to me, it hurts my feelings because I'm a human. That doesn't make me a victim. That doesn't make me someone that you should point fingers at and blame and say, you need to be stronger. You need to be better. No, I'm sensitive and I would never say those things about other people, so I'm allowed to be hurt when people say those things to me. It's like, be normal and talk shit about me behind my back to your friends. Like, send a screenshot of me and be like, yo, she gained weight. Don't leave nasty comments calling me names. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's it. I just want to say thank you to everybody who had something nice to say because it really meant a lot to me. Okay, so I put some lashes on and... I feel like there is something else I really, really, really need to address that I see all the time, constantly. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, you don't have to say anything, leave it in the past. But I really, everything in this video that I'm saying, I'm saying for me, like I'm not trying to explain myself to anybody or anything. I just feel like it's just time that I say these things and just get it out and just talk to you guys. Like when like shit builds up with a friend and you're like, I just gotta tell you this. I gotta tell you how I'm feeling. That's how I feel right now. I just feel like I one more time need to address my lipsticks in my first initial launch with Jacqueline Cosmetics because that was a turning point in my life, business-wise, in my career, um, financially, and also for me personally. Like my friends and family and I, we refer to my life now as before lipsticks and after lipsticks. Like anything in the last five years, it's like, Oh, that was before lipsticks. Oh, that was after lipsticks. Because once that launched, everything changed for me. Like I said, in every aspect, everything changed. I see so many comments saying like, she still hasn't taken responsibility. She's played the victim in the whole thing. And I am so sorry if I've given that impression to you guys. 
I'm speaking to the people who actually want to hear me out and not the people who hate me. If you hate me, you're going to hate every single thing that I say and you're going to find any little thing to pick apart. There's like this old, old meme, that, like I, before like memes were even a thing, but it's like 10 years old and my mom and my sister and I laugh at it all the time. And it's like, this is how it is when you hate somebody. And it's literally like an animation of a girl like eating a cracker at like a school table. And it's like, oh my gosh, look at that bitch over there eating that cracker like she owns the place. And that's how it is. It's like once you don't like someone, no matter what they do, you're like, oh, she thinks that she's this and she's that. And you get that, you just get that in your mind. And I get that it's ugly and it's nasty. So if you don't like me, you're not going to want to hear what I have to say. And I get that. Don't watch the video. X out. I just have to say that if I've given the impression that I was the victim, I'm sorry. The way I handle my lipsticks in the past is not the way that I would handle it now. And I just have to say that I take full responsibility for what happened, you guys. Like it was my company and it was my name. Yes, I had business partners, but since the beginning of all of this on YouTube. I have said to my family, I've said to my friends, I've said to people who I collaborate with, God did not make me to be a businesswoman. God did not make me to be a CEO. That is not my talent, that's not my gift. But because my YouTube channel took off and I just started building subscribers and I love to create makeup and the sales were so high and there was just, it's like I was just kind of forced into this role in the best way possible. It's like I was forced to hire on people. I was forced to get investors just because it's like, whoa, this is snowballing and it's getting so big and it's so exciting, you know? But it's like, I was not created to do that. I was created to create. That's my favorite thing, to do makeup, to talk to people, to connect to people. Like, that's what I wanna do. I have a very big heart for children. I feel like God put me on this earth to not just have children one day, but just to help children. Like, I really have a connection there with kids. I was put on this earth for a lot of things. I don't think that being a CEO or a manager or a boss was one of them, which is why I have partners to help me out in this, to make really big decisions. Yes, I looked at the lipsticks. Yes, I saw like the pre-production batches. Yes, I saw it all, but I never saw fuzzies. And I know that people are looking for me to take responsibility and say, these lipsticks were old. They were expired. They've been sitting in a warehouse for years. Or I knew that there were defects. I knew that there were... And that's just not the case. I'm never gonna lie to you because that's just not... It's not the case. If that's what you want me to say, you're never gonna hear it because... There's documentation that whether you want to believe it or not, they were not expired. They were not old. And I did not know. That's why I gave you guys full refunds. I was ashamed. I handled it so poorly. I ran into a corner. I cried like a child. I didn't know what to do. And I will never make that mistake again. Like every single thing, knock on wood, where is some wood? Every single thing that I have put out since those have been exceptional in my opinion because I changed my entire team. I changed my labs. I changed everything. I changed the way I operated. I changed the way I did business. I hired so many new people and now it's an actual functioning working business. Like before it was just kind of me being like, woohoo! And I was not prepared for that launch even though I had worked on the formula for so many years and worked on the components for so many years and the packaging, I was not prepared you guys. And I still to this day am sorry and I take full responsibility for that. But I just want you to know that I have put that in the past and I am moving forward. Like I said, building a new team means building new product, you know, building new repertoire, just like building a new name for myself. And I'm not giving up on my dreams. And I hope that that encourages you because you're all going to have fails in life. You're all going to fall. You're all going to feel like an idiot at some point. You're all going to make stupid mistakes, you know, if it's financially, if it's things that you're doing in, in your business and your personal life, like, but if someone like me who has thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people, you know, telling them that they can't do it, that I'll never buy your products again, you're this, you're that, whatever it is. If I can continue and get back up on the horse and try my best to prove them wrong and try my best to continue to build my dream and what I think God put me on this earth for, then you can do it too. And that's really the motivation that I have to continue my brand and bringing out more products and just beautiful formulas and just building my pipeline and just like keeping this going. It's just because I want to set a good example for the impressionable young women and boys out there who follow me, especially like for my nieces and my family. Like I just want to make everybody proud and know that like it's not fair just because I f up that I just have to now lay, lay down and play dead for the rest of my life. Like that's just not gonna happen. So I hope that that all came across not in any way like victimizing myself or anything like that because that's the last thing that I want. You know, it, it's my brand, it's got my name and that's why I gave every single customer a full refund. I know people say like, oh, she still made money. You guys, I did not make one penny, not a cent, not 10 cents, not a quarter. I did not make a dollar off of that launch. That was a huge, huge financial burden which is something you guys don't even need to know about. That's just behind the scenes. But it was 
a horrible time in my life because of the mistakes that I made. And I am sorry to you guys for that. And I, I can't say I promise because, oh God, but I am doing my absolute best to make sure that nothing like that even close ever happens ever, ever, ever again. And I hope you guys can see the difference in me and my products as I continue to grow. Let's finish off this face, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Accent Light Highlighter in the shade Ice. I'm gonna pop that on my brow bone. Because I will just never give up brow highlight. Like, I will never, ever, ever give it up. Like, when I don't wear brow highlight, I'm just like, I just feel so dull. Like, I have no life in my face. It's a must for me. Okay, so I'm finished with my eye makeup now, and I'm just going to wipe away my bake. I have like this little dot right here, and that's actually from like the incision that she made when she went in with the threads. It looks like a pimple, but that's actually like the site where she went inside of my face, which sounds disgusting. Okay, so I tried to contour as much as possible, even though right now, all the swelling is literally in the area where I contour. So it's really hard to be like, okay, where's my cheekbone actually at? Because it's just like right now, it's like a hot air balloon, but I tried my best. I'm gonna go in and blush these cheeks. My favorite part. Gosh, you guys like blush. I just, I can't get it off. I really can't. Blush is my favorite. I mean, I need bronzer like no matter what. I can't live without bronzer. But I feel like I need blush even more. Blush is just, it's it for me, especially on the nose. Oh, I love it. I even put it like on the sides of my nose like this, just like a little wash, just like almost to look like I've been outside. And I'm just like, ah, oh, it's got like, you know, some fresh air, a little cool breeze hit me in the face. And then of course we have to highlight the nose. This is another thing that Gen Z will not take from me. You, that's fine, take skinny jeans. I don't give a crap. You're not taking, <laughs> not taking my brow bone highlight and you're not taking the exclamation point on my nose. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my lip liner in the shade Bourbon to line my lips. Oh, I mean, Bourbon really is that bitch. That bitch. Bourbon, butter pecan, coffee cake, chai tea, and blondie. My bitches. I'm going in with the liquid lip in the shade Truth. This is one of my favorite shades in my collection because I just feel like it goes with every single liner and it just is perfect for my skin tone. And this shade actually was Sophia in my lipsticks. And I just used that as a bench and turned it into a liquid lip. I've actually never worn this lip combination before. This is my first time and I love, love this. This is gonna be a new favorite. I love mixing and matching all different liners and liquid lips in my collection. Cause I swear, like, even though I've been playing with these products for like a long time, I still like find new combinations and I'm like, all right, got it. Oh, never enough setting spray. All right, you guys, so that wraps up this video. I ran into the bathroom really fast and just like threw my hair half up and like really sloppily <laughs> and just like blew up my bags really fast. But that's it. I hope that you guys really heard me out and I hope you like understood and really heard and felt my heart in this video. I know that I have not done anything like this in a really long time, especially the fact that it wasn't really makeup based and it was just me talking and God, I hope that I don't get canceled for this. Um, if I do, it is what it is, but I just kind of wish I could call you guys like one-on-one -on -one and talk to you as a friend. That's really my intention of this video. And more than anything, I know that I can only speak from my personal um, experiences and what I'm going through, but I'm not in any way trying to be like, oh, poor me, woe is me. You know, this video is really just, I needed to vent and I needed to talk to you guys and just say, you know, it's so unfair what I see so many people, if not all people go through on the internet. And it's just not fair that everyone has to deal with bullies and people being mean to them and saying things that aren't necessary. It's one thing, if you've got fuzzies in your lipsticks, it's one thing for you to complain about it. Absolutely, you rightfully should. But for you to now be fat shaming people, you know, and just being bullies and being mean about their physical appearance is just so wrong on so many levels. And I just don't want to live in a world where that exists. So I would like so hard to try to be like a bright light and help create that change. I know I can't change the world, but I want to, and I'm going to try to use my influence for good in any way that I can. So if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy anyone's content, no matter if they've got millions of followers or only a few followers, follow them, like, subscribe, engage with them, leave a positive comment, even if you feel stupid because you're like, they're never gonna see it, they will. Do you have any idea how many comments and DMs I get every single day saying, I know you're not gonna see this, but, and I see it, I see it several times a day. A lot of times I respond, sometimes I can't, but it's like, I see it and others do too. So just keep that in mind. Your voice matters and your positivity matters. And 
that's all. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I feel good having this conversation with you guys, like getting this off my chest, moving on. It was a bad day, a bad two days, but like we're getting out of our system. We are moving on. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Georgie, not now, sir. You've been so good the entire time. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate it so much. Also, my liquid lips and my lip liners are now available in Ulta and on Ulta.com, which is super exciting. So I'll link everything down below. Now my dog is barking. He wants to go outside. I gotta go be mommy, mommy duties. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.